Having created a cloud storage bucket which we plan to use as an Envault pool, we simply take the name of that bucket, go to the Management Console, go Manage, Storage Pools, and select Add Envault Pool. In previous versions, we required you to create a service account and then add that service account with a JSON key. However, this is no longer necessary. Instead, we will use the service account that is attached to the backup and recovery appliance, which already has the required role. All we need to do in that case is add the pool name and the bucket name and hit save. The only time you'll need to do something different is if the bucket is in a project where the service account has not been added. If this is the case, copy the displayed service account. Now you have two choices. You can assign permissions at the bucket level or at the project level. To assign permissions at the bucket level, go to the project where the bucket is located, go to cloud storage, find your bucket, select it, go to permissions, go to grant access, add the ID of your service account and under role, select backup and DR cloud storage operator and hit save. If instead you want to assign permissions at the project level, you do this. Go to the IAM panel of the project where the bucket is located, select grant access, Add the service account as a principal, and in Assign Roles, select the role Backup and DR Cloud Storage Operator, and then hit Save. Once you've done that, you can return to the Management Console and hit Save to add the bucket. Remember, that's only needed if the bucket is in a different project to the one where the Backup and Recovery Appliance has been created. Once your pool has been successfully added, you can move to the next step.